Buongiorno, my loves, and welcome to Italy. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm so happy to be here. It's been, um, I think, like two months or a little bit more than two months since I've been in Italy, which is kind of, I would say, normal considering the like situation in the world, but not normal considering that normally... I mean, how many times did I say normal? Considering that usually I would be in Milan at least five, six times a year. I had very little sleep last night because I was so excited to come here. We arrived very early in the morning and you guys know that we came to do some apartment viewing for a little pied a terre um, apartments in Milan. But until things are settled, first things first, I wanted to show you my home away from home where I will be staying for quite a few days. And I'm at Palazzo Parigi. Uh, for the first time ever, this is a hotel I've always wanted to visit, specifically last two years, I would say. There was never really like a proper opportunity, so I wanted to show you my room. Wow, haven't done a room tour in a while, huh? So, as you enter from the door, this is it, I promise. Basically, this is the corridor, right? So, as you enter, on the right-hand side, there is a wardrobe and the truth be told, I haven't actually unpacked. This is my suitcase, as obvious, broken, used, abused, and then oh, my boyfriend's one looking so new compared to mine. I haven't unpacked yet because, yeah, I just arrived and also received some really kind gifts from Valentino, which I will unbox in a second for you lot. So yeah, over here is a little sitting area. I love that it's kind of a Parisian vibe, which is not something that we get to have in Milan usually. And then on the other side, this is the bed area. It's a really bright room. I was just working here, as you can see, I take my jewelry off when I'm working, a charging, my trench coat. Yeah, I had some like really, really urgent work that I had to do. Then over here is the bathroom, very much my vibe. So one thing that makes me so happy is the fact that spa is open. Like you can make an appointment if you want to use the spa and that makes me so happy. I'm wearing this top, it's from uh, UCC brand and I really like it. I have a body underneath so you can't really see this part of the cutout, but yeah, basically this is the bathroom. One of the most incredible parts of this room is this balcony, which is basically massive. And ta-da! Look at this. Will I be having breakfast here this morning? I don't know, because I'm actually um, missing having food surrounded by people, because obviously we don't have that for since October in Paris. Restaurants have been closed in Paris since October. So I think I'm, I will go downstairs to the restaurant when I actually want to have food or a coffee or something like that, because I, I miss like you know just dining surrounded by people i love how green are the balconies in milan look at this so we're here we have that sort of like a modern part of the city like the bosco verticale i don't know if you can see it but it's there on that side over there behind this is duomo which is quite a, like a walking distance so that is it wanted to show you a little nice uh, room tour because i really really enjoy this room I love having a bright room, bright in like luminous and light in the colors uh, because I just find that to be so motivating for me and I, I'm always more productive when the room is as such. Also, just before I had some like a glass, lip gloss that I found in my bag, I'll show you which one. Right before I did this video, I, I found the lip gloss in my bag. It's just a lip gloss, can you see? There we go, lip gloss, I didn't pay attention to what it says here. It says lip injection. And honestly, I applied it on my lips and I was like so happy, you know, I was like just something kind of like moisturizing. Also, even worse, my lips felt a little bit dry. I applied this on and I mean, all of a sudden my lips got so red and so big and I started like, they, they started hurting. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what is this pain? And um, I wiped it off, the lip gloss, and look how red my lips are and how plump. So, I mean, in, I'm not interested in that kind of lip gloss, but in case you are, this is from Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. 
instant and long-term lip plumper it was really glossy as well but i was like oh, wiping it off because it was so painful so in case you're interested i'll, I'll link this below it could be useful um and yeah so that's why i look a bit like this yeah i'm gonna unpack i also have a zoom call at four and i have like a few things to do i'll also show you what's in the valentino bags can't wait let's unbox this this is so amazing i mean it's a brand that i really love and i you know it's never a problem for me to find something i love it says dear tomorrow welcome back to milan we hope you enjoy our presence along with your stay here your friends at valentino this is so nice i'm so excited let's see what is in here mm. Mm, guys i hope that it is what I'm thinking it is. Okay, left hand opening, always a disaster. Mm. Yes, sunglasses, and it's so beautiful. Beautiful and sunny. Oh my God, I love this so much. Guys, look at this. First of all, like super my vibe, right? And then look on the side. It's the Valentino logo on the side. I mean, perfection, if you ask me. Perfection absolutely absolutely love these insane actually i've always really loved valentino sunglasses i have a few pairs and i think they're always so cool these are oh, it keeps getting better and better and better guys okay so first of all these are like uh heptagonal i mean i thought it was hexagonal but then i counted it has seven corners but look at them. So they have these crystals all around and then look at the side with the logo as well. Like a mini, 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 tiny logo, but so stunning. Love them. Insane, insane. Okay, this like a neon yellow color. Well, it's not even neon yellow. This is the color that I told you is the color of the season. This is so beautiful. What is this? Okay, so we have this um, Born in Roma yellow dream. But look at the box. There's basically a field of flowers. And there are two fragrances. Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum. Oh, it smells beautiful. Love it. I'm gonna spray it straight on my skin because I actually love it. It's very like fresh, summery, but not too sweet. Is the Eau de Toilette the same? Ah, oh, this is men's. I would think this is a men's one because it smells quite masculine, though I love that too. Love it, I love masculine fragrances. So this is so amazing and I love the magnetic closure. So super incredible, thank you so much Valentino. What an amazing welcome in Milan. Now, I think it's time to unpack. I might apply some like eye patches tonight. I have a small tiny dinner because you guys know that my agency is based in Milan. So it's gonna be very, very nice to catch up with them and do a few meetings, few work things and enjoy Italy. Guys, it's been a very busy day. I need to fill you in on all the details of apartment viewing, hunting, however you want to call it. We're going for dinner at Enrico's house because I haven't seen him, so it's kind of like a meeting as well. I will inform you on everything that's going on as soon as I'm back. The view of Milan right now. This is beautiful. I mean, you can't really see, but sun is setting, so it's just so stunning. And we have to make it on time because I want to see this other flat in this light. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Milan, where, uh, as you guys know, I'm here for various different reasons. But the main one was to search for a pied -a terre or a, an apartment where I will be able to... I don't even know if I should talk about this because things are just not really going according to the plan and not to sound like I'm complaining because I'm really not it's not gonna change my life in any way at the moment but I'm in Milan now for two days overall like two whole days I think yeah Monday Tuesday today is Wednesday so I'm really enjoying the city because I'm spending a lot of time with my friends I love Italy Italy is like my favorite country in the world to visit like even you know if you would ever ask me what would be the one place in the world where I would live besides the UK I would never say Paris I would always say Milan because for me Milan is where my friends are where my management team is where like I feel I thrive the most I really enjoy I could say now that I fully understand Italian I don't speak it because I've never taken one lesson of Italian in my life but I could get around 
or should I say, you know, like I could do some elementary things, though I think I would learn it pretty fast. So I think that Milan for me was always kind of like a very promising city. However, now after seeing apartments for two days, I have to say that people think it's hard in Paris. For me, Paris was very easy to find an apartment because I knew exactly what I want. Look, in Paris, if you have a budget, you can get something nice because there are flats, it's just that they are expensive. But in Milan, even if you have a big budget, you cannot find a place since it's really, really hard to uh, find a flat since apparently it's not an Italian mentality to be renting their beautiful apartments. So uh, they're only like renting kind of if they never really even intended on living there and they're renting their kind of like less nice apartments, I don't really know. Um, that's what I've been told. But I have to say that I wanted to take you flat viewing with me. I wanted to show you what we're seeing. But honestly, if you guys saw this, you would be like, what? It was not promising at all. Like there's nothing even to show. So that's so far. However, on the other hand, I'm really enjoying the beautiful weather. My hotel here is like so nice. And I'm really enjoying spending time with my friends. I go to the office every day, I do some work there, I am like, I'm feeling very productive. The city is open as well, so like the shops are open unlike in Paris, and it's just really nice like to have a change of environment after a very long time. I'm also doing some like quite important work here, like different to my influencer kind of work, but like uh, different work that I don't really... I don't really talk about that yet. I'm doing that as well on the side. So the days are pretty filled with a lot of things and busy. I also did some damage on day one, on Monday. I went to Margiela and I bought so much clothes. Uh, one of the items that I'm wearing right now actually, which are these jeans. You can't really see them probably. Properly, it's nothing new. It's, uh, I love them because they're baggy and cool and fabulous. High waisted tight here and then they are very, you know, baggy and cool. That's basically why I haven't really vlogged much. I haven't really shown you anything because there wasn't really much to show previously. My face is shining so much because I'm also using the Drunk Elephant uh, bronze drops that I will show you in a second. So this is the product that I am using on my face below, like under the makeup. I really, really like it because it gives like even a nice glow. Like for example, if I don't want to wear any foundation, just apply, apply this and it gives like a nice bronzy look without looking makeup -y. plus it's skincare. That's really nice because it's anti-pollution. On my face, well, I haven't got anything on my um, eyelashes or on my lid except from a bit of bronzer that I just applied. I have a lot of bronzer. I use the Gucci bronzer. I will link it below. I also applied a little bit of, or a little bit more, of a highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. And that is basically all I have on my face. I would say I have three products all together. So I'm gonna head down to have an amazing Italian cappuccino and then we're gonna continue with the day. I might take you around with me. I'll try and be a little bit better at vlogging simply because I sucked at it last two days but truth be told I know I shouldn't think like this but I was a little bit depressed on Monday when we arrived because I had such high hopes for the apartments and it was disappointing. It's not a very special outfit of the day but these are the new jeans so that you can see them. I've got a uh, Y Project blazer and this bag that is actually one of my two favorite bags at the moment. It's a Bottega one and this is all I've been wearing besides this beauty here. I will link both of them below because I think they're incredible so far. Even though I brought with me um, four other Hermes bags, I believe. I so far have only worn these two, which is pretty incredible, if you ask me. I took off my mask so that I'm in the changing room. This went from breakfast to car to Antonia Boutiquina, which I will show you around. Si, amore. Gilles Sander, trousers. We are women who are trying a lot of clothes, like crazy, like this, 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 this. Antonia has really incredible pieces. It's not sponsored, just telling you honestly. So I'm trying so much right now. Let's do this. First of all, is this uh, couch dreams a lot? But I want to try these Balenciaga shoes. This is really soft. I love it. Amazing. What size? 39. I think maybe I need 40. Let's see. Oh, they're insane. I love Our these. The brown ones, right? 
extra volume. Let's try them. Amazing for summer. I don't yes. have anything like this, so go. that's super cool. They're like this going around all your ankle. Love them. Okay, let's try them. All right. Guys, I'm obsessed with these. They're amazing and I love this chocolate color. Perfection. And not too heavy either. Let's try the other one. Okay, they run a little bit small, so you have to go for a uh, big, sorry. So go for a smaller size. This is so cool. These are the other Balenciaga shoes. I'm actually thinking between the three pairs that I bought, I love these and the brown sandals the most. I love these a lot, the design, but I think you have to have a very narrow foot, which I don't, because this bit here is um, lined, you know, so that obviously you don't slip out of the shoe. Um, but there, the heel is so incredible. I'm loving them right now. And the trousers I'm wearing are Jill Sender. If I can find them, I will link them below. Shopping session almost done. It was like a crazy, like a Tasmanian devil, you know, getting in the shop, trying lots of stuff. Luca helped me here. We're packing one of my trousers and heading on with the day. As I promised, I will show you the boutique because I think it's so beautiful. They have such amazing pieces. Also, look at my friend Monica bag. Isn't it incredible? These are the shoes that you see me try on. They have like a men's wear here and then women's wear and like accessories. So many beautiful pieces, beautiful. I also tried the Alevi shoes, but I tried the blue ones. Uh, these are the Balenciaga ones I got in white. Look at this, the point bag from Bottega. This one is incredible. I actually initially wanted this kind of like, that looks um, more woven, but in the end I ended up getting the leather version. Here is my carré bag, except that this one's in white, and I got the kind of like a caramelly color. No, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pieces, like so many cool sandals. These from Marcel are also amazing. Valentino options, uh, incredible buy, you know, they have really cool pieces. So uh, I ended up shopping, which was completely unplanned, and I would say influenced by our friend Monica. Quick stop at the hotel just to leave my shopping, and I'm grabbing my laptop because I need it. I'm going to the office where I'm gonna work with the rest of the team. Never ending drama this morning. I don't know what to tell you. I have so much to do. Yet I woke up and this morning my phone decided to give up on me. Wonderful. I've been trying to understand how I can restore it, update it, do anything that I can just so it operates because of course of all the days, today is the day that I actually packed up my schedule. I have a lot of meetings and today is the first day that I was not going to go to the office. Um, I worked all the days from the office but today I was like no because I have the meetings. Tonight I have an important um, also meeting like tonight I mean like this evening at 6 so like you know there's a lot going on and I was like okay so um, I'll take it easy well I guess not because Apple store opens at 10 15 and my first meeting of the day is at 11 will I make it we don't know but what we know is that I don't have a phone in the meanwhile and the worst thing is this is not even the first time this this happened to me it happened to me as well exactly a year ago i remember i was in paris and um or like less than a year ago but you know what i mean plus today i have such a massive to-do list that this was the last thing that i needed but uh seems like uh, this week in milan is a little bit more challenging than i thought but as we're getting into it it's getting better so let's hope that this is going to get solved this morning and i will make it on time small update we're now on our way to Apple store in Milan. I made an appointment, everything's fine. I just need to uh, understand what I'm doing wrong because I'm clearly doing something wrong with my phone because it happened already the second time. So it must be that it's my fault because it never happened before. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, the only good thing is that my boyfriend, he said like, have my phone because going to the office, I don't need the phone. So at the moment I have his phone. That's the only way of communication with the outside world. Okay, a small update. Everything is getting fixed, which makes me very happy considering that ah, I can go and do my meeting. They're Apple, they're just amazing. They're repairing it as we speak and I'll go pick it up after my first meeting. I'm just trying to understand which way I need to walk. So yeah, for the next hour, I will just have to operate with my boyfriend's phone, which means that, well, no one can really reach out to me unless people who know who I have informed this morning but it's only for an hour so everything should be fine I hope
in case you wanted a little update here i am i am wearing these jeans because literally all i want to do is wear these jeans from now until forever they're so amazing normally i wear them with sneakers but right now because later i have a meeting and i want to look a little bit more put together I'm wearing them with my roman Rocksteads that I love so 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 much. This bag seems to be an incredible purchase. Honestly, bingo for this bag. I love it. I couldn't even imagine that I would love it that much. On top I have a t-shirt that I stole from my boyfriend, a white Saint Laurent blazer and Ole Lungort Elefantino, <laughs> what I call it, should be pronounced that way, but it's an elephant, Elefantino, little elephant basically. I have actually a lot of jewelry on right now that I just kind of keep changing the hands and the rings and the sides and the fingers when I'm nervous, which I was today, but what can i tell you the verdict is that the phone is back i received like a really 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 great service at the apple they were so kind they fixed everything i'm just like now loading my stuff from the cloud it's still gonna take a few hours time so until then i don't have whatsapp which is tricky because most of my stuff that i do is kind of like team management i have a group for management of projects i have a group for management of editorial stuff i have a group for managing of real stuff then I have conversations with everybody individually and it's a little bit tricky because also I don't even think my parents know that my phone is not in action so maybe they're thinking that someone kidnapped me probably not but you never know however when I have a tricky day like things are just you know not really going according to the plan I like to focus on all the incredible things that are happening and I don't know why my contour looks so harsh when it's not I think it's the light because it also only looks harsh on this side right so i guess it's the shadows i hope otherwise i don't know what happened what i was gonna say is that i try to focus on all the good things that have been happening and there's been so many great things like you know this morning when i realized that my phone's not working my boyfriend gave me his phone like he was like take my phone i'm going to the office I don't need it if you need me you know where to find me and that was so nice later on he came to meet me so i gave him his phone back and like you know this is such an incredible also a point of trust because we were in in a spot and he was like here's my phone just take it and i would also give my boyfriend my phone if he needed it because i normally have two phones but imagine on this trip i only brought one of my phones i didn't take the other phone so i would also give my boyfriend a phone because i don't really have anything to hide but this kind of whole thing made me so grateful that you know the, there's like so much trust and so much great stuff like you know even in bad situations you can really try and find something good and that just makes me feel so relieved happy and calm as otherwise uh, yeah life would be very 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 difficult otherwise trust me so today i have two more meetings i am gonna head downstairs have like my third espresso of the day i know crazy but it's one of those days and what i'm gonna do is like try and catch up as much as i can with like editorial work because I'm just basically emailing everybody instead of messaging and then head to one of the meetings, then head to another meeting and then what I want to do is forget about everything else like you know go to bed and look forward to the weekend which is in two days time oh i forgot to tell you so at one point i met up with my boyfriend and we were like talking about stuff and i i kind of forgot that i gave him his phone back and then i went and picked my phone up at apple all good and at one point i was like okay while my phone is loading let me just check something on his phone like whatever you know what's the time or whatever and i couldn't find the phone because i forgot that i returned it and then i got the panic of thinking that I lost his phone just to let you know it's one of those days and the reason why I'm telling you all of this is not to complain because this is not a problem comparing to what other people are going through right now somewhere in the world you know but this is to remind you that in case sometimes something like this happens to you it doesn't happen only to you these kind of days happen to every single person out there and it's important to remember that it's just a day and the next day will if you ha if you're having a bad day it means that the next day will 1000% be better so put a smile on your face and just keep going day i don't even know which like 4 or 5 in milan and of all the clothes that i have and shoes that i brought these are the shoes i'm going to wear 
once again because I love them so much. Literally, this is all I've been wearing as it seems because I love them. <laughs> this is the look of the morning. Just very casual, going downstairs for a coffee, tracksuit, my Air Jordans. I like the mix of a tracksuit and a blazer lately. Not a tracksuit, but these kind of fitted sweatpants with the blazer. And I got a big Chanel bag because I have to work, of course. So laptop and everything is in there. This is the look. Let's go. It's so nice actually having a breakfast in a seated environment where you can, you know, like order and sit and enjoy because in Paris we haven't had that since October. I have to say the most important part of my morning besides my old cappuccino is the five minute journal no worries let me open a page where i haven't written because it's so intimate this is kind of what it looks like inside and i just bought this on amazon this is the second one i have already and it just gives you a little quote at the top happiness is an inside job don't assign anyone else that much power over your life and then it says i'm grateful for three things then what would uh, make today great daily affirmation i always struggle with that because i find it so weird to write like i'm strong i'm great <laughs> but anyway what i love the most is i'm grateful for what would make today great is really incredible because it sets some kind of goals for the day uh, three amazing things that happen today that's what you write at night and how could i have made today even better it's really good because you can learn something out of it so i really really love this and i think like it's making me so uh, pleased with everything like i'm going to the spa today by the way that's why i look like this i put a hair mask in i don't know if you can tell but i'm going to hammam so i want the steam room to like put all the hair mask into the hair and then later i wash it you know what i mean anyway uh, i was saying uh, i really like because the five minute journal really sets the day like so perfectly well uh, i feel so then kind of blessed and happy grateful and calm and even when bad things happen like yesterday i kind of find something good in it like and i feel like i'm in a better place so i really recommend it i don't think it was that expensive but i found it on amazon that's where i bought it so in case you're interested get it and let me know how it affects your life it's time to get going i'm gonna finish this coffee and we need to head because we're actually seeing an apartment right we've seen two apartments today and i have high hopes because so far there was nothing that i could even show you i love when there's a balcony in milan that's always great okay and this is a sign is this a sign guys Okay, having a little walk now, so like a really beautiful street. The thing is like, I'm so difficult when it comes to like a finding an apartment. We're basically saw a street that we like, and now we're gonna see if there's anything for rental here, because we both love this street. But it's tough, it's tough, it's tough to find something to the point where we're even actually considering just... Uh, finding like a fully empty place for a machine I don't know or maybe even just buying rather than renting because Milan is just so much more promising when it comes to what's for sale than what's for renting but at the same time I don't know if I want to stay in Milan you know like it's just supposed to be a pied de terre not a <sighs> tough quick mess in the background because I just got uh, to the hotel I changed into bikini which you can see I'm trying to this usually goes around the waist you know the thing I'll try and link the bikini below if I can find it but actually I'm trying to put it all to the top because this is the only bikini I have since I only just bought it the other day at Antonia and I'm heading to the spa for a nice hammam treatment I'm actually very excited because I feel like I really want to relax, so that's the plan and I'll try and take you with me. Let's just take the jewelry off first. The spa is like so beautiful. This is just the waiting area that I'm gonna try and show you a little bit more. This is so beautiful. This is the royal suite. And honestly, I haven't had the treatment like this in such a long time. So I'm very, 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 very excited. Guys, I just spent a beautiful time in here it was amazing so i had a scrub and look the dead skin everything that is uh, like a proper skin detox you get from the spilling and it's amazing everywhere now it's like a baby skin new skin new me wow guys this is what i look like after a massage 
off. I don't know what happened to my face, but it was incredible, really. Yeah, she even like did a head massage, that's why this is the product. I have no makeup on and in one hour or less than one hour I have to shoot. Photographer is coming and I have so many projects that I have to finish while I'm here in Milan. So no more spa enjoying for me, unfortunately. I really wish I could have this every single day. I would, or every week at least, because it feels amazing. My skin even feels amazing and soft. Love this. Wow, how much I miss this. It's been more than a year of missing places like this. First thing was the steam spa, but steam buff, but we used this one. So I don't know if you'll be able to see, it's like really steamy inside. So I relaxed in there first after that and got my body washed after that it was time for this incredible space which basically was where we scrubbed half of my skin then enjoying uh, the jacuzzi with some mint tea and nibbles that you can see here and then the massage the glow on my face is pretty insane and uh, i think it's all due to the like one spa appointment i had in the last i don't know how long anyway guys 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 let's hope that i'm gonna have more luck with the last apartment that we're gonna see since we're here because so far we found this one i have high hopes for what do i need i need sunglasses i need card lip balm lipstick okay putting it all because i'm changing the bags from this bag that i worn every single day of milan into this one which is filled with stuff but let me show you what i'm quickly wearing this is the look this is a bottega i think this is men's collection west sorry for the squeaky noise white shirt um my favorite subi jeans air jordans a very street style look and the bag and this is the look because i really want to be comfortable and i'm a bit lazy and touch of color so we need to go please pray for me let's hope that this flat it's good. I love the staircase, it's beautiful. I love the floors so far. This is yeah, empty, you guys, as you can see. This is more my vibe. I love the bathroom. I mean, I love the showers. They're really like a New York vibe, you know? I love the light in the other bedroom. Like there's like a tiny little one that could be kind of a office or a wardrobe room, you know? Everything is new, that's what I really like and that's what's really difficult to find in Milan and the ceilings are fairly tall, especially for an, like an apartment. But this is where the kitchen would go, small but nice and also who, who needs kitchen. It's so hard, so hard, I cannot even tell you how hard it is finding a flat in Milan. This is the second bathroom, in case. We, you can't really see because the light, the electricity, is. everything is so new. Like, look, everything is brand new, so we can't, we don't even have the, the electricity yet working. But, yeah. One thing I have to say, like, this is one of the most beautiful buildings I've seen in Milan so far. I'm loving this vibe. This is so, it's actually very Parisian. Just like two minutes of filling you in. I had such high hopes for this flat because we both really wanted an unfurbished place that we can kind of play with and make it our own and do whatever we want. It's really hard because this place we really liked. What would you say out of 10? This place? Seven and a half. Yeah, for me it's like an eight. Eight? Yeah, for besides the, 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 the circumstances. We love the location, I love the flat but it's next to the school, like a high school and I have to work from home as well if I'm around, I have to be filming if it's constantly noisy and loud it would drive me crazy I would literally like um, not be able to work I would not be able to film videos I would not be able to create content if it's constantly noisy and loud and you know, if you get out on the street outside and it's always like many 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 people it would be more difficult for me to get work done. It's a new day, but I'm wearing the same thing while well, I'm getting dressed. I'm not wearing anything yet. Yesterday, a verdict, like, I mean, I hope in the mirror there you can see the effort. There is a glass, there is a beauty product, hairspray, and the Le Deco here, and then the camera on top of it. So that's my tripod. Yesterday wasn't really lucky when it comes to apartment viewing because, well, I mean, we didn't really end up settling for anything, finding anything. And uh, that, that was the last flat that we were supposed to see. The other ones I didn't even show you because I thought like really, really, really like, 
you wouldn't have enjoyed it, trust me, I know it by now. Actually, because we have a lot of friends in Milan, we know a lot of uh, uh, people who have recommended real estate people, and now we have two more flats to see today, right? No, it's one today. One today, okay, one more flat to see today, but there's another option that we just cannot see today, and I'm leaving tomorrow, so that's it. It was a week of seeing stuff, of getting around, of like working also at the same time, but honestly, no luck with the flats so far. Today I've just done a little bit of makeup, I don't know if you can tell, it's mainly like a bit of highlighter here, a bit of my uh, Hourglass favorite ambient quad. This was actually on sale. I don't know why. I literally think it's the best product from Hourglass. And then the this super extra glow from Charlotte Tilbury, which is the Glow Gasm Beauty Light Wand. It's so good. Gold Gasm. So, so, so good. So what I do with this, I just basically use like a little brush and blend it in and then I blend a bit on Cupid's bow you know, no one's gonna see this because it's gonna be covered by a mask but you know a little bit all the way up here here and that's it so I'm wearing the same thing as I wore yesterday the green vest the white shirt and the jeans even though I brought so much clothes to plan but the reason why is because I want to take a picture in that look I really 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 like it I'm gonna have a coffee walk around see a flat uh, my hair is straight because I didn't really bring any tools with me so i just washed it yesterday after the spa as you guys can see it's grown pretty long it's not even that straight because my hair is naturally wavy so it has a, still a bit of a wave but my hair is still here i cannot believe it i don't know if it's ever been this long fragrance of the day is the this hermes one or the Hubarp. Lol. it smells really just fresh and clean i can basically bath in it anyway that is it let's remove you from this trip tripod I will take you a little bit more with me on our last day in Milan. Well, my last day in Milan because I'm getting back to Paris tomorrow. I think in a separate video, I will show you everything that I bought in Milan because there are still opportunities today. So uh, still there might be a chance that I get another thing or two. You never know with me. Welcome back to Margiela with me. I was just trying on these jeans, which are insane, but a little bit too big for me, the size wise. I mean, <laughs> two sizes bigger, but I still wanted to try them to see what a fit would look like. And it's really insane fit. I love these kind of baggy uh, jeans. So they found my size and they're like bringing it from another store so that I can try it on. But it's going to take around half an hour. We might go in the meanwhile to check out some stuff for my boyfriend as well i've tried on half of margella shop i am buying some like more trousers because i love the truth is from this trip i got i think i got seven pieces in margella and it's safe to say that i could buy a whole shop there are like a few more pieces that i wanted to get like this insane trench coat that i wanted to get but then i said okay like i don't need it right now because i'm not really going anywhere so I can wait and I will be coming to Milan more, it's not like, you know, because obviously in Paris the stores are closed and I'm loving the Margiela store in, in Paris. The denim is another level, like it's incredible, incredible. So yeah, we have like a one more flat to see today, which we haven't seen yet. We've been just walking around, took a picture at Piazza Duomo, which I'll insert here, took a picture when we went to the roastery uh, with the Massimo Chanel billboard, I'll insert it here. And yeah, that's basically the day. I'm just really enjoying being off and having my boyfriend around because normally like this whole week he was around, but he was working. So it's really nice to actually have them with me to walk around together, to do stuff together. And that's the kind of Milan that I like. Honestly, this green vest, I love so much. So, so, so much. I, I don't know, like I just feel like I'm feeling this look a lot. It's very street style, it's very sporty, but you know i was thinking mm, should i keep this should i not keep it in the end i really love it so i'll leave a link below for you guys to check it out in case you like it as much as i do okay we're seeing one more flat but it's a little bit or a little bit a lot dark the problem is the everything is so beautiful but you know guys i leave of light and if I don't have light, it's very hard. I mean, it's not super dark, but it's not. Everything is new, everything is beautiful, which is very hard to find in Milan, but it's just so dark. Really beautiful, but I mean, I, I love the ensuite look. It's stunning ensuite um, with a beautiful shower. So far, this is probably the best we've seen. The only thing is that I'm not so sure. Like, it's so dark. I have to get all the lights, but I love that it's two floor. 
What I love are the stairs. I love the stairs. Really love the stairs. This, I have to say, is really, really, really nice. Good morning, guys. It's a new day. It's the last day. I'm leaving Milan today to go to Paris. And I just realized I shopped so much in Milan that I don't actually know how I'm going to pack everything. It's a bit questionable. Um, maybe I should have gone to Remoa to buy a new suitcase as well. There's so much that I got. And this morning, I received also a most incredible gift from Off-White that I just wanted to show you. Uh, these are the out-of-office sneakers. And I think they're so cool on. I tried them on immediately. I love the soul and my sneaker collection is growing and it's really 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 insane i wanted to travel in them you know when you travel you kind of uh have the suitcase which is dirty and then you go over your shoes with it and when there are new shoes i don't want to have the whole like anxiety attack because there are new shoes so i'm super super grateful because these are so cool so i have like i think i have three new pairs of shoes and i have a two new blazers, three jackets, lots of trousers, so many pairs of jeans. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna pack. I'm gonna show you everything that I got once we're back in Paris. I am excited to go back to Paris, even though the last few days in Milan were really amazing. Last night I didn't vlog because we went to see our friends home. Everyone is kind of trying to help us to find the right apartment here, which is hard, but it's not impossible. Have we found one? Maybe, but we still have more to see, so... um. Yeah, just when I thought I'm gonna finish this vlog, it's actually not happening because I thought, you know what? It's fine that you guys know how insane I am and it's quite realistic as well. So it's like midday, we have to leave the hotel at like 2.33. I'm not packed and for sure all the stuff is not gonna fit in a suitcase. So <sighs> current schedule is running to buy a suitcase. Which I actually anyway need, because to be honest with you, uh, my Remoa has served me so well over the last two years that it broke uh, like everywhere since obviously I pack it to the point where it's unbelievable. So yeah, I'm gonna go get another one because in my case, suitcases are never something that you can have too many of. Wish me good luck because I'm traveling alone to Paris. So I haven't done this in a long time since Fashion Week era. I haven't done like traveling with million suitcases alone. I feel like almost like I lost it. Let's see. We managed. Look how much taller the new suitcase. Not how much, but it looks like a few centimeters taller than the old one because old one's been used and abused a little bit. But I love that it's like a matte navy compared to this one and I'm super happy that I actually managed to pack all of the new belongings so now officially I can say thank you for watching this video thank you for following the adventures with me in Milan and I will see you very very soon bye guys